Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're looking at our Snapmaker 2.0 A350. I've had a little bit of a problem. I discussed it in my first impressions video. Um, whenever you print something on here, uh, sometimes there's a little bit extra PLA that uh, gets stuck onto the actual heated bed. The first time I had PLA stuck on here was from that initial test cube you saw in the first impressions video. And how I got that off is we heated up the bed to about 80 degrees Celsius and then we used some isopropanol and like a little rag and everything. Okay, so the bed is at about 71 degrees Celsius. We're gonna go ahead and put some of the isopropyl alcohol onto our little rag here. Be careful not to touch your eyes. But we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're going to tip it over onto the rag. Um, not pouring it directly onto the actual heated bed because I don't really want to ruin it. So we'll put it on top, tip it over, and then we just kind of gently start rubbing it on the bed. You have to be kind of careful about the odors that isopropyl alcohol creates. It does create some rather strong odors. So be very careful about that. I'm using some force, not a lot, just enough to where it feels like you're applying friction, but not enough to where it feels like you're going to, you know, destroy anything. Also the heated bed is at about 80 degrees Celsius. That's very hot, so please be very careful if you're cleaning your own heated bed at home. So as you can see, it's coming off quite well. Now, after a certain point, you can actually take your Snapmaker tweezers and you can actually go through and kind of gently just kind of scrape at the PLA. Just like that little bit right there. And uh, that's pretty good for cleaning. I'm pretty happy with that. It looks a lot better than what it did before we started cleaning it. And that was only, what, like a full, maybe 10 minutes and everything. Uh, you don't have to clean it after every time if you're not using that same spot and stuff like that. However, I did 3D print across like the entire board, so I did kind of want to go through and clean it all off. This has been, in my opinion, uh, the quickest and just kind of the most foolproof way to clean uh, your Snapmaker heated bed. Thank you guys very much for watching this video for my little technique for cleaning my Snapmaker heated bed. If you guys have a different way of cleaning yours or a little suggestion for someone else or even me in uh, kind of a way to clean their heated bed, uh, leave it in the comments box down below. We kind of have a little discussion and community forum and everything for what the best method is for cleaning that. And if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more Snapmaker videos or like lawnmower videos or uh, filmmaking videos, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. It's not a game, it's a red